everybody, this is East Coast Prepper here. This is kind of like a little scenario video. Um, you know, just just to help people think a little bit. Um, as you can see, it's dark. Um, so here we go. I, I came home today. After I made it home, it was a long day. Power's out everywhere. Nothing's running. And cars ain't working, cell phones, nothing like that. And, um, I gotta get in my safe, get my gun. But I can't get in my safe. I don't have no way to get in it. It's electronic, it's not working. I mean, I could probably cut it with my torch or something like that. You know, it's electronic, it doesn't have a backup, nothing with it but electronic. So I'm looking for a way to get in my safe, because I know that it's going to start getting bad. If this is what I think it is, you know, if this is an EMP, then, or a solar flare, or we're gonna have problems here. You know, a lot of people don't prepare, so. Well, let me put a little light on the subject. Let's see. Let's see. Slide back a little bit. Anyway, I'm gonna burn the place down first. That wouldn't be good. Anyway, just enough light so everybody can see what's going on here. Anyway, my safe's locked. Nothing's working. I mean, all my, my guns and stuff's in my safe. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I know that I need to get this safe open. I can begin to bust the hinges off and stuff like that, but I'm trying not to make a lot of noise. People scurrying around all day today, panicking, can't get in touch with nobody. So everything's chaos. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I remember back when I started prepping, it came to mind that, you know, I might need to get in this safe one day and, my, and I need to have a backup plan. You know, planning is everything. Let me see if I can find that thing really fast here. Let's see if I can find my. I remember I had a key. There it is. Hmm, this might be simpler than I thought. Let's see if I remember this. I think you turn that thing off. Then you got your wires and your plug. Then you got this key. Can you see that? And it slides up in there. One way or the other. There's a hole behind your electronic box. Take this master key. You turn it. Voila. Safe is open. Then you can get to your guns. So for all of those who's worried about not, not being able to get to their guns through electronic lock, that's not obviously not going to work if something truly, you know, SHTF or EMP or whatever, and electronics burn up or whatever, but or anything, even if your house catches on fire and it burns the lock off the front of the, the safe or whatever, somebody smashes it or anything, 
You want to make sure. You get a key. Then you don't have to worry about anything. I'll be right back, people. Now, that little scenario, like I said, was just to help you think a little bit. But also, it's a lesson learned. See, this little gadget right here, unless you beat it to death, work yourself to death, even if you could do that, I think it bolts up through here and down at the bottom, so it's not going to come off by the hinges. Just take and turn this little thing right here. Now I got the wires disconnected, so it was easier for me to do. But, you know, it'll hang off. You take this key. This key slides up in the slot, and every safe has one. Every safe, ha every safe has a master to back up the key. I'm clumsy today. Then you stick it in and turn it. Get to your guns or whatever. Whatever it is that's important to you. To me, it's SpongeBob. <laughs> anyway, that's just for a little fun. From, that's from Minbound and 92 Scallop there. Anyway, so don't worry if you're safe, electronic, or not. If somebody breaks in your house and busts it up and you, you, know, you can't get in it and you need to get in it. You need to take. If it's a little safe, you could take it to your locksmith. They can make it. But if not, you could go to the website that you bought your safe, serial number, proof of purchase, or whatever you need. You know, they're just going to give you. They're not just going to give you a key because you asked for it, because this is a master key to your safe. But locksmith made these keys for me. I have two of them to this safe, and every safe that I got that's electronic, I can get in it. But this is just an example here. And I always have you some light. Don't always depend on the flashlight. It might not be everything to you. Fire. Some kind of oil lamp or candle or something. So you can see. That's the main thing. I'm just going to start doing little scenarios to help people think. You know. Bring more attention to it. Whatever. But well, remember, don't let that worry you. Contact the person you got your safe from, your local locksmith. That's how I had mine done. I didn't buy this safe new. I'm, this safe here I bought, um, I don't know, yard sale somewhere, state sale, whatever. I think I gave like 100 bucks for it or something. It's a pretty good size. But anyway, there's the key. That's what you need for your backup. In case you solar flare EMP or somebody breaks in your house and bust, bust the lock off or something happens to the lock or just won't work one day or something like that. These things have batteries inside that run these locks. If those batteries go dead or fall out or come loose, you're not going to be able to get in your safe. Trust me, I, this is why I have this key. This is what made me think of this years back when I bought, a couple years back when I bought this safe. So thanks for watching my channel. Hope this helps you out. There's a few people ask. Um, and appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Have a nice day.